Hi guys! So today is the day 3 of my 5 day workout challenge. I'm gonna do another fun workout. It's gonna take only 12 minutes and it's gonna be really intense. So get ready to sweat a lot. And uh, after the workout I'm just gonna go over the exercises so that you know what you're doing at home. These are great home workouts with just your own body weight. I'm not using any uh, fitness equipment. I'm only using my timer. That's important because it helps you to keep track of your intervals. So that's the only thing that I'm using for these workouts. Uh, I also changed uh, the approach to my diet today. I decided I'm going to try something else. So you can read about that on my site, but it on the TV. And uh, that's it. That's all I wanted to tell you. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna warm up, and then I'm gonna show you the workout. This was the first part of this workout. <sighs> now I'm just gonna have a sip of water and I'm gonna go directly to the second part. <sighs> so this is the second part of this workout and I'm starting with oblique side lunges. and this workout that I was doing with these spike uh, jump squats. It looks like this. So you go into the pike position with your feet wide apart. You bend your knees slightly, jump up, bring the legs off of the ground, get into the squat and jump up. It's really important that you keep your uh, entire upper body really tight, arms extended, core tight, abs tight, and jump up as you land, land softly on, your, on the balls of your feet, and do as many reps as you can during the 30 second interval. Just make sure that you don't jump when you're in the pike position 
don't jump too high so that you don't roll over. <sighs> so the second exercise is great for your core. Uh, sit on your mat, put your fingertips next to you just for balance. Don't lean on your arms. Sit up with your chest up, shoulders back and down. Extend your legs in front of you and keep them off of the ground the entire time you're doing this exercise. Bring your knees towards you, extend your legs again, open your legs and bring them together again. This was one rep. So this is what it looks like. Now, if you're not strong enough to keep your legs off of the ground for the entire time you're doing this exercise, you can do the slight break in between, uh, put your heels on the ground. But your ultimate goal is to keep your legs off of the ground for the entire time. The third exercise were push-ups. It's really simple. So start in a plank position with your feet together. Do a push-up. Jump your feet apart. Do another push-up. Jump your feet together. Push-up. And keep going this way. Do as many reps as you can. And don't forget to keep your core tight, your body in one straight line. Don't drop your hips. The fifth exercise that I was doing today was a side lunge jump. So you lunge to the side and make sure that you push your hips really back. Uh, bring your weight towards your heel. Keep the shin vertical. Really push your bum back. And now we're gonna jump up, push off of the standing leg, and jump up and turn your upper body sideways towards the opposite knee. Like this. And uh, then you're gonna switch the legs, do the same thing to, uh, on the other leg. And do as many reps as you can during each. 30 second interval. The last exercise that I was doing in this workout were elbow plank uh, jumps. So go into the elbow plank. Keep your core tight, your abs tight, your body should be in one straight line. Don't drop your hips. And now you're gonna be jumping with your feet together to the side. And then back to the middle. That was one rep. Then towards the other side and to the middle. That was the second rep. So, try to do as many reps as you can during the 30 second interval. And uh, these were all of the exercises that I was doing uh, in today's workout. And the whole workout is explained on my site, but it of the TV. So, uh, check my site for the explanation of this workout so that you can try it at home. It's just bodyweight exercises, you know, no fitness equipment needed except of the timer. And uh, uh, just let me know how you did, how did you like it, leave me a comment on my site. And I will see you guys tomorrow because tomorrow is the fourth day of my five day workout challenge. So cross your fingers for me so that I can make it through this week with five workouts. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow.